Abrasion confirmed. Everything was set for their return. Even the final hug was captured on camera. The change of command ceremony saw Thomas Pesquet transfer ISS leadership to this Russian astronaut and deliver a goodbye speech alongside the crew who will return to Earth with him. Uh, as we're preparing to leave, it's kind of a bittersweet feeling. We might never come back to, to see the ISS, and it's really a magical place. By now, the four astronauts should have changed into their flight uniforms and boarded the return capsule. But 420 kilometers below them, the wind and waves in the Atlantic Ocean just off the coast of Cape Canaveral make a smooth landing impossible. Les vents ne doivent pas dépasser 20 km h sinon la capsule va trop bouger lors de sa descente. Et ensuite, il y a aussi la mer, hein. il ne faut pas qu'elle soit trop agitée. Là, c'est essentiellement pour le confort des astronautes et aussi pour les bateaux qui vont venir récupérer la capsule. Their capsule will now break from the International Space Station on Monday. It'll continue to orbit the Earth at 20,000 kilometers an hour for seven and a half more hours. Then comes one of the hardest parts, penetrating the re-entry corridor. During deceleration, the crew feel the force of as much as six times their weight, while temperatures outside the capsule reach up to 2,000 degrees Celsius, forming a red-orange plasma that surrounds the spacecraft. Ça fait un peu peur, disons que c'est impressionnant, c'est un beau spectacle, mais on est confiant, vous savez que c'est des métiers de, de confiance, on a confiance dans le matériel, confiance dans l'équipage, et on sait que ça va bien se passer. At 10,000 meters above the surface, a bit of relief. The parachutes open for a slower descent, set to be complete early Tuesday. But the Alpha mission won't be over just yet. The astronauts will have to undergo one week of medical testing.